Fantano, I don't know why the fuck you had to just not review it. Because now you made a bunch of people get tortured to go and see how not good this is. So, you know what? I'm going to do... What is it? The due diligence to uh, watch this hot pile of trash? Um, I got a bit of a mixed drink on hand. Uh, yes, it's pink. Okay. The wife made it. I don't care. It's fucking good. It's going to help me get through this. So, yeah, that's a... Uh, <laughs> If you thought my axe video on the freshman was bad, this is something else. This was uh, this was 30 minutes of my life I will never get back. I don't, I don't know how to transition this, man. Just just take a drink with me. Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic, reviewing stuff so you don't have to. So let's talk about the wall from Nostalgia Critic and why it is bad. And yes, I'll actually give a Fantano rating since you know he's gonna have a panic attack. And didn't want to. This is really truly one of the worst things, and um, I just need to move on to something else in order to l live a better life. Because if, if I dive too deeply into how terrible this is and everything that makes this bad, I'm gonna have a panic attack. I'm gonna have a fucking panic attack right here on camera. I don't wanna have that. I would uh, like to uh, maintain, <laughs> uh, maintain uh, a somewhat sane demeanor in front of you guys. Plus, if you're a fan of Jar Media, or a Ralph the Movie Maker, you probably watched all those lengthy videos like I did. But if you don't have the time or you're not a fan of these people and you're not gonna watch one hour or 15 minutes, then this is why this video is for you. So starting off, in summary, this whole entire review of a movie is pretty much, if you're someone who's not a Pink Floyd fan like me and you're watching this, it's pretty much a bunch of fucking music videos compiled together with some story stuff in between you know, all at once. That's what it is. It's their whole entire album with some little snippets for like skits that tie in the movie. That's really it. For someone who's not a fan, who's just seeing this at first glance. When you watch the Nostalgia Critic's review on this, you are just thinking, oh, he's basically copying scene for scene, almost, of what the wall was and their shit. This is just such a love letter to Pink Floyd's music and the wall. And let me just tell you, it's not one, not two parody songs. He's basically making a parody of the whole entire movie, AKA basically the whole entire album. Hey, you guys like the music in this review? Well, believe it or not, there's an album of it. I'm not even kidding. And there is a line where to cross for this. Where is this line? Well, let's talk about Nerd City. Just recently, which I just watched today, he made a video talking about YouTube's new bot shit that has words. Go watch it. It's very informative and it'll help you out if you're making content in the future. I will link it down below. Also, he made a music video that was inspired by something he liked and it was in the middle of the video, but it was one song. And it was a little bit short, but you know what? I had nothing wrong with that. If you want to make that music, whether it's for a parody or you just liked it and it was inspired by that, go ahead. It's fine. I get it. Or if you're making a song that's inspired or a parody, and you think it might interrupt the, f the flow of your video or make fans agitated, then you put it towards the very end of the video. So if they don't like it, they can just click off or continue watching it because they love that song that you just made. But as for the Nostalgia Critic, he went the Ethan Klein route of making a parody song. What do I mean by this? Well, in an older video I made, I briefly mentioned that H3H3 made a song parody from R. Kelly while he was doing it live for his podcast. Girl, did you get your shots? Your shots. Get me if did you bring your immunization report? Okay, great. You have your passport. Did you get your shots? Girl, would you like to come back with Rob to America? Here we go. Everyone's tuning out. Everyone's like, oh no. That gag already happened. It's dead. Move on. Then he did it again, but he was self aware that people would click off. Good thing you were self aware because I did click off because it looked like I want to hear that trash again. No. And that whole entire Ethan Klein situation is what happened with the Nostalgia Critic. He didn't make one parody song, or he didn't try and make it better again. He decided to parody the whole entire album. So if you're a big fan of the Nostalgia Critic, then you'll like it. In the comment section for his pinned comment that the Nostalgia Critic pinned himself, he likes and hearts people that say, wow, this is better than the original. I hope that is sarcasm. This is just such a love letter to Pink Floyd's music and the wall. And the singing. My god, it is terrible. I'm not gonna try right now and recreate something that he made. Wow, this song is so deep and lame. 
Oscar bait worthy song. Basically what the lyrics sounded like when they were fucking singing. And I wasn't even fucking trying. So they made a parody that drags on for too long. There's, oh yeah, I remind me, where's the review? Yeah, it's towards the very end of the whole entire movie. It only lasts for 10 to 15 seconds for the review of The Wall. It's a review! That's literally the opposite of what that is! So basically, it was a bunch of filler and you wasted half an hour of your life. But I had to watch it twice, so I wasted one hour of my life. When I could be, when I could be spending time with the wife, eating some fucking food go when we're out somewhere. Hell, I could be buying Donkey cheese curds because he just got married. Anyways, I need another drink. I record this so many fucking times. This is like my fucking fourth cup today. Do you wanna know what that review is? Okay! I liked it fine. Yeah, me too. A little full of itself, but good music and imagination. Fair enough. Wow. That's the review? You're not gonna give in what you don't like, what you like, go more in depth, how they could fix it, or why it's so bad? Seriously, basically that review he just said is something I could have said to a friend who says, hey, what do you think about this song? And that'd be me. That's basically what I'd tell my fucking friend. I'm giving this a 2 out of 10. Why is that? Well, one, because it got the lead singer of Slipknot in the video, and his scenes that he's in, that's how I feel. When he clicks to another channel, that feels like me wanting to click onto another video after I'm seeing this bullshit. And what he says towards the end of the video, saying, where's the fucking review? That's how I feel about this whole entire fucking thing, watching it. Where does the second point go, I guess? Well, besides having that little relatable moment, they have a collab with someone who's an anime channel. And some people critique that it looks like he has some deviant art characters, but then again, they're OC characters from their YouTube channel. That collab seems interesting. And it was a song that didn't really have the nostalgia critic, so I felt okay listening to that song. <clears throat> also, I don't know if this would tie in with the second point, but it's a little bit controversial. He decides that some profits made will be going towards a charity. So, I'm just guessing right here, if ad revenue is going towards that charity, I'm fine with putting ads on and watching all those. But if the ad revenue is not going towards that charity, you can bet your ass for the first time in my life, I'm gonna put ad block on watching this pile of garbage. And no, the nostalgia critic, you can't fucking blame. The movie ended on such an open vagueness that it only makes sense that the review end on such an open vagueness. This is just such a love letter. It's a review. It seems as if your character, your online persona that you can just blame anything on is full of itself, especially when you have your little plaque with a one million subs in the background and have pictures of you, basically, your character, with other people. I really hope if I ever choose to tour that place one day that I actually see other staff members, or whatever the fuck you'll call them, in there too. His production value, oh my god, it is terrible. He has a bunch of people that can work with him, and the production is bad. This looks like something I could make if I didn't know how to use green screens or someone slightly better than me that knows a little bit on how to make a green screen and they made this project. That's exactly how it feels. So someone who has a million subs releasing this, it's terrible. But if you have a small amount of subs like me, then you probably get a pass. Sorry if this seems a little bit harsh, but that's really how it is because I don't wanna waste your time and he for sure wasted my fucking time. Now keep making content if you are, if it's nostalgia critic level, it's okay, you're a small channel, you'll get a pass, and keep improving your health, and I'll officially see you around and get back to investigating content creators that have gone missing. <laughs> mine.